Hey, what's up guys? It is Adam from Adam's Awesome Projects and today in this video what we're going to be doing is painting and weathering Academy's Panzer IV H and it's a really good kit and we're going to be doing the weathering powder like I did on my Yag Tiger video and if you've seen that and we're going to be doing that like I said and I really like to do an Academy tank and it's my first time actually doing it so anyway let's get straight into painting our kit right now. Welcome everyone to a new special video on Adam's Awesome Projects. We love our new kids who need and they need so much that they're so much. Alright, so this is how much progress we're making on our models. So what I'm doing is I'm spreading on some microsole, so this will help the decals conform to the model, and this will also reduce the silvering. And if one of them flips over while the decal's still wet, you can... Um, what I mean by that is that if it flips over and you see the white, while the decal's still wet, push it back in the position it was earlier. So that way it'll be back into place. Here's something very interesting about this model from Academy. What's really cool is that when they give you the spare tracks, it's like Lynx. This is kind of like Dragon's magic tracks, but what's cool about it is the tracks are already pre-painted. So all you have to do is glue each link together, let it set, and then put it onto the model. This is pretty really um, interesting, isn't it guys? I'm gonna make some chip effects. So what I've got in my hand is a brush that's dipped in black paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give places where I think there will be chips. I wanna simulate some bare metal. So what I've got in my hand is a pencil. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to rub on areas where there will be bare metal. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to give my entire model a light tint of XF57 buff to give dust effects. I'm going to weather the tracks now, so what I've got is Tamiya's Weathering Master and I'm using silver so that way I can weather the tracks and make them worn. All right, so this is the completed model Panzer IV after building, painting, and weathering, and it looks really good. I really like the driver, and I also like the gun around the commander's cupolar, uh, but I don't know how to pronounce that, though, so I apologize if I mispronounce that word. But anyway, this model looks really good, and I really like the chip effects, too, and the hairspray technique worked out pretty well, and the tools also... They were not that hard to put together, but with that being said, this kit is a little bit hard because of the armor. I will admit that. I had a little trouble with that, so I wouldn't recommend this kit for the beginner because it's a little bit challenging. But for those who are intermediate and advanced, this is not a big problem. I would just take your time on assembling the armor step by step, but other than that, this is a really good model and I really like Academy's models. They're really awesome. I want to thank everybody for watching this video of me painting and weathering the Academy 135th scale Panzer IV H and it was a really fun kit to build and it's a little bit different than Tamiya and all the other companies like Dragon or Trumpeter but I've never actually have built a Trumpeter kit and anyway that was my first Panzer IV with armor actually. I had one without armor but this is my first one.
And I have another one that's monogram models, but I don't want to show it right now because I want to keep it a surprise. And if you have a model kit build request, please leave them in the comment section below. Either it's military, sci-fi, or from movies, it doesn't matter. I build any type of model kit that you request. And also, don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe as well, guys. It is the wonderful Adam's Awesome Projects. Signing off, guys. Bye.